You want so much more than to just heal the trauma. You want so much more than to just change the story of a past experience. You want to know the fullness of your soul self, the liberation of your brain, body, and subconscious, and how you could experience heaven on earth from the inside out through the infinite power and the infinite love that you truly are. Welcome to Kristen's Quantum Catalyzers, where we explore body, mind, and soul to activate the infinite love of who you truly are. Here, we play with neuroscience and consciousness to explore and expand inner realities in transcendent ways and experience heaven on earth through the magic of our own divine soul essence. This healing journey of inner work gets to be fun, provide accelerated results of lasting transformation, and be so enjoyable that you look forward to showing up for it and reaping the rewards of how you consciously direct your inner energy through love and presence. I'm your host, Kristen Windsor, teacher, guide, mentor, and speaker, here to help unify body, mind, soul using neuroscience, consciousness, and infinite love. Thank you for joining Kristen's Quantum Catalyzers. When you've gone through painful or challenging life experiences, it seems logical that, well, if you want to heal them, you go back and you try to transform and rewrite the story and change it from the details of the experience that you first had. Yeah, is that an approach that you've been taught? Something that seems logical? Something that has been suggested to you? Okay, maybe if you're having a present struggle, there's some symptoms coming up in your mental or emotional health. There's maybe a pattern of habit or behavior. Maybe you want to trace back to the original experiences that first started that pattern of habit or behavior. And by rewriting its origin story, you can help shift the present patterns you're going through. These are some of the common approaches that maybe you've heard of. Maybe you've been led through them. Maybe these have been taught to you. Maybe these seem like a logical solution for you. I'm going to share with you five reasons why you do not want to work with details of past experiences or conscious memories through the mind in order to create deep healing transformation. The first reason not to work with details of past experiences or memories through the conscious mind is because most memories exist unconsciously. Unconscious emotional and procedural memories are how your body remembers how you felt and how you moved during those past experiences, which now affects your emotions, behaviors, choices, and responses unconsciously. But those memories cannot be accessed through the conscious mind. Most memories are unconscious. So if you try to rewrite memories that you can consciously access through the mind about those details from past experiences, you're only reaching a teeny tiny minuscule semi-insignificant fraction of the information inside of your brain and your body from those past experiences that's now affecting you beyond awareness. Anything you can reach in the conscious mind is only the tip of the iceberg. And yes, this includes the information you reach when in a very deep state of inner awareness and introspection. If you're doing meditative journaling or self-hypnosis or other forms of inner practices of self-awareness or even modern approaches like EMDR where you're going into a very deep inner state of awareness that is deeper than your conscious mind could maybe access in any given moment if you're externally focused, even that, even what you can reach through things like EMDR are a minuscule, teeny, 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 tiny, rather insignificant fraction of the memories that are inside of your body, storing the past, affecting your present. Most memories exist unconsciously and cannot in any capacity be accessed through the conscious mind. 
The second reason is because changing information from your mental awareness or working from the constructs of your conscious mind with details from past experiences that can be verbally articulated and described, it does not, does not, does not, does not change the information stored inside of your body. The neural networks of your brain, the unconscious memories patterning how your body feels and moves and responds and all of that, information of your body cannot be changed solely through the conscious mind. And if you're working with details of past experiences, that's not reaching into the information presently existing inside of your body. Working from the conscious mind alone cannot change the information stored much deeper in your body. The third reason not to heal trauma or painful, challenging life experiences and the residual impacts of them by working with conscious memories or details of those past life experiences, this is the most important one, I think. They're all really important, but this one's really, really absurdly game changer status, okay? My past self to heal trauma was in therapies for 10 years and they only ever worsened her struggles and her symptoms. Why? This was a huge, huge reason. And once the approach was changed, we no longer worked with details of memories or past experiences, but worked with what I'll share with you in a little bit here, the alternate, what you do instead of working with the conscious memories, okay? Everything changed, everything changed rapidly, quickly, easily, dramatically, profoundly life-changing. The third reason is because when you're working with the memories, the consciously accessible details of the past, there is a tendency for the existing information to get bigger rather than being transmuted or alchemized into something completely new. And that's because to alchemize and transmute something, to become something completely new, there cannot be a story with it. It becomes pure, raw energy that can be transmuted and rewritten. But if you're working with conscious stories that you can describe through the mind, then there's no capacity to make it into something that is completely brand new alchemized into an entirely new experience. And so when you bring up the details of the past, you're already activating the existing data in the brain, the body, and the subconscious. And the second that you're repeating the details of the past, you are growing and enlarging the existing information, which grows and enlarges, increases the way that you are experiencing yourself and your life from that information. So if you go in and you activate the story from your past, boom, you've already grown the data without healing it, without changing it, without transforming it, without alchemizing it. As that data is being activated, it is already being rewritten. But if you're working with the details and bringing up the details, then you're rewiring it with the exact same information. Even with techniques that try to rewrite the story or shift the narrative or bring conclusion to it or whatever the approach might be, you're still reiterating all of these details from the past and reactivating those navigational networks so they're getting bigger and bigger. And so in my past self, for example, was in intensive trauma therapies and different treatments and DBT, CBT, EMDR, going into deep states where you bring up the things that have gone through to try to uncover these suppressed parts of you and rewrite the narrative around it and you know bring closure to it or whatever it might be, every moment where she was thinking about that past event, every moment where she was describing what had happened, every moment where her brain, her body, the energy that was navigating her experience was focused on the detail of the past, those networks in the brain, body, subconscious were getting bigger and those stories were getting louder and stronger and more intense. 
And even when you rewrite the story with a new energy or a new idea or a shift in the narrative, you're still focused on the old story. You're still reiterating that pattern and it gets bigger and bigger. And then all of the symptoms coming from it get bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is why it's so normalized that therapy takes a long time because secretly you're just growing the reason for your problem in the first place. So it's normalized to be in these long therapy treatments for three years, five years, 10 years, and the problem is never fully resolved, okay? Speaking from my experience and the experience of many, many people that I've known throughout my lifetime, it's so normalized that you're in this pathway of quote unquote healing and you're in it for a really long time and progress is really slow and gradual and you actually never achieve 100% freedom from whatever the issue is. And so when you work with the existing data through details of past experiences and memories that you can access through the conscious mind, you are already growing the existing data so that the way it navigates your life is increasing. And furthermore, if you don't effectively transmute the energy into something completely brand new, then you'll further perpetuate the growth of those navigational networks in your brain, body, and subconscious. So when you work with that data, it increases. And most methods that do involve working with details of past experiences or conscious memories through the mind are not able to effectively transmute it into something completely new because you're stuck on the story of what happened. And you can rewrite it a million times in a million ways, but it's still gonna be the story of that past experience that keeps being perpetuated in the navigational patterns of your body mind. The fourth reason not to do this, not work with the details of past experiences to try and create healing is because in that process, you leave the present moment, you go into a moment that no longer exists, you abandon the self that exists here and now by looking at a previous version of you that actually does not exist other than in the idea of your mind, and you give your power away to something outside of you. That situation that's no longer here where there was stuff happening in your external environment of experience, you're giving your power away to that. Deep healing transformation does not happen when you abandon the power that you have in the present moment. It does not happen by leaving and fragmenting yourself by not being fully present and then continuously revisiting past experiences. And so you don't want to give your power away to something outside of you that's no longer here. Leave the parts of you who are in the present moment and be more in the experience of a past moment than the present moment where you are right here, right now. And that tends to happen when you are trying to work with the details of the past through these consciously accessible memories through your mind. The fifth beautiful reason not to be healing by working with details of the past through memories of your conscious mind is because it misses the entire purpose of memories. Neuroscience discovered that memories do not exist to store the past. They exist to navigate present and potential moments. And so if you go into memories of the past and try to heal them by focusing on the stories about how that past experience, you know, happened and now affects you and who you are and relation with it or whatever it might be, it misses the whole purpose of memories. The memories that you are trying to rewire to create deep healing in your life, those memories are not concerned with storing information from your past experiences. And if you assume that they are, then you're working against the flow of how your memories actually operate and the divine neurobiological purpose for their existence in the first place. Those memories are there for a reason. And if you try to work with the details of the past, you assume that your memories are there to store the past, but they're not. Those memories are there to help you navigate present and potential experiences. 
pieces, which is why they can disrupt your well-being if there are fragments of these unprocessed experiences stuck in these inner memories and they're projecting, you know, anxiety or whatever might be coming up from them. And so you want to understand the purpose of memories and to work with their neurobiological purpose and the way that their energy is meant to naturally flow, which has nothing to do with information from your past experiences. I passionately share this with you because these insights were the game changer for my own healing journey. My past self was recovering from hundreds of debilitating health challenges stemming from 20 years of complex trauma. And healing only became possible when she stopped working with the details of past experiences. For 10 years, she had been in therapy with over 100 therapists and psychiatrists and their emphasis was on the details of past experiences. To dive deeper into parts of the past that maybe the self wasn't fully aware of and to go deeper into the stories and try to shift the narrative or whatever the approach was, but the emphasis was on bringing up details of past experiences and working with them through the conscious mind. And things got worse and worse and worse and worse. And after 10 years of all these different methods of quote unquote healing, it left my past self feeling completely hopeless. Like there's nothing that could possibly bring healing when all of these approaches had never worked. And then my past self discovered the neurobiological truth that memories don't exist to store the past. And that leaving the present moment abandons your inner power. And when you continuously work with the narrative of past experiences, it grows the information inside of you and increases your symptoms. And when you change a story through the mind, it doesn't change the story held in your body. And most memories exist unconsciously, which means even if you've worked with every detail you can possibly reach in every brainwave state, in every activation of that past experience, you're still not reaching into the majority of the data inside of your brain, body, and subconscious. And so what do we do instead? If we're not working with the details of the past, how do we heal? How do we heal trauma? How do we heal present disruptions of well-being that were created or first began during these painful or challenging life events? How do we heal the residual impact from these challenging and painful life experiences? And that could be childhood trauma or adulthood trauma, little t or capital T traumas, or really any experience that held a really intensive challenge or really intensive pain in any capacity, in your mental well-being, emotional well-being, physical well-being, in any way. How do we heal? How do we transform the residual effects from those past experiences? And in addition, if there's a lot of things that we've gone through, how can we work with all of the data simultaneously so you don't have to go story by story by story or memory by memory, but you can transmute all the data from all the pain and all the challenges from all your years of life all at the same time to accelerate healing where there is ease and enjoyment in the process of achieving the transformation that you desire and deserve to experience, okay? My past self was able to heal those hundreds of debilitating challenges from 20 years of complex trauma, a lot of disruptions of present well-being from a lot of past experiences without ever looking back at the past. She didn't have to bring up the details of the past in order to transmute the core energies inside body, mind, soul that carry that information. How? What do we do instead of looking at details of past experiences through conscious memories accessed through the mind. One, we address navigational networks, not memories. When you think memories, you think storing data from the past. When we address navigational networks, it's an emphasis on the actual purpose of memories, which is to provide navigation in present and potential moments for the self of you and the life that you live. So instead of addressing quote unquote memories, we address the navigational networks. And in one perspective, 
they're the exact same thing, but it's a shift of focus, where we're focusing, how we're focusing, why we're focused there, what we're actually doing in the process of showing up for inner healing. We address navigational networks. We address the navigational networks of the body mind, not the conscious mind. The body mind speaks a completely different language than the conscious mind, okay? If you only know English and you don't know any German, French, Portuguese, Chinese, like any other language, right? If you're suddenly around a variety, a group of people who speaks these different languages, you're not going to know what they're saying. They could be having all these incredible conversations that are revolutionary and talking about life-changing ideas, and you won't be able to be a part of it. You won't get to join in on what they're saying and what it means and contributing your thoughts and learning from them. You won't be able to engage or interact because you don't speak the same language as them. It's the same thing with the conscious mind and the body mind. They speak different languages. So you could be having all these massive breakthroughs through your conscious mind. And if you're not speaking the language of your body mind, then the majority of you won't know that this is happening. Won't know that you're having these healing breakthroughs. It's not going to reach the depths of you. Again, it's only the tip of the iceberg, if that it's a tiny corner fraction of the tip of the iceberg. And so the conscious mind and the body mind speak completely different languages. So when we address these navigational networks, which includes memories by understanding the neurobiological purpose of their existence, we want to be speaking the language that the body mind can understand, not just the language of the conscious mind. So we're addressing navigational networks of the body mind, not the conscious mind. And then this includes unconscious memories, which cannot be consciously reached and are not directly affected by what happens in the conscious mind, unless you start to translate that into the language of the body mind. And so we address the navigational networks of the body mind, which includes unconscious memories, and we transmute and alchemize the energy into something completely new. Something completely new. You're not just taking a story from the past and changing the single sentence at the end of the book, right? You're not bringing up these past experiences and saying, yes, that happened. Yes, these people were involved. Yes, these events happened. Yes, it left me feeling this way. Yes, that was the story. Oh, let's just change the ending. Let's just change that last sentence of the page or the chapter or the book. No, we're writing a completely new book. Not a single word on a single page will be the same as what it was before. And that's important when you're healing from trauma. You don't want a life that's filled with all these stories of trauma, but oh, at least the last sentence is different. No, you want a life that has nothing to do with trauma. And yeah, that's possible. Even if you are healing from complex PTSD, 200 disabling challenges, coming from 20 plus years of continuously increasing and intensifying complex trauma, speaking from personal experience. You want a being, an identity, a self, and a life, an experience that has nothing to do with trauma, that has nothing to do with the pain or the challenges. Yes, you integrate the wisdom. Yes, you appreciate the miracle that you're here now and, and all of the beauty that can come from healing, right? But... You want navigational patterns in your brain, body, and subconscious that are completely liberated from all stories and sensations from that pain and that challenge or those traumas where you use the wisdom, you use the lessons, you use the beauty, but anything else gets alchemized and transmuted into a completely new energy so that you won't even associate with yourself through a lens of, I've been through trauma. That gets to be rewritten at the core of who you are if you desire it, if you want that level of liberation. And so we're not just changing the last sentence in the chapter of a book. We're alchemizing and transmuting the core of these energies into something completely new. 
I know a woman who has gone through vast healing. It is highly commendable outrageously outstanding, the level of transformation she's created in her life. Inspiring, beautiful, wonder-filled, so incredibly amazing. But she still has triggers from one trauma that happened many, 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 many years ago. And there's multiple situations in her everyday life where she's out in public and in certain spaces, and that trauma gets triggered. And she has these sensations in her body, these thoughts in her mind, these emotions that come up, and she gets triggered because there's still the story and the sensation of that past trauma inside of the navigational networks of her brain, body, and subconscious. The unconscious memories inside of her that now navigate her experiences are still carrying the story of that trauma. They haven't been transmuted into something completely brand new. We don't want to just decrease the symptoms. We don't want to just change the last sentence of the story. So yeah, all of those horrible things happen and that will forever be a narrative in the autobiographical story of my life. But at least I'm here now and at least the last sentence of the chapter has a better ending than it used to have. No. You want navigational patterns in your body-mind that literally have nothing to do with those past experiences. And I'm telling you, again, from intimate personal experience, that level of alchemy, transmutation, healing, restoration, transformation, liberation, expansion, all of it, it is possible. The healing I've created was done independent of anything and anyone outside of me. My past self healed those hundreds of debilitating health challenges from 20 years of complex trauma without needing to look back at any of the things that had ever happened completely on her own, without any doctors or coaches or therapists or neurologists or guides or healers or coaches or anything. So that power that she has exists within you. There's no reason to continue living a life where the identity of your own self and the instinctive navigation of your life through your thoughts, feelings, responses, and choices, there's no reason for any of that to continue to be rooted in painful or challenging past experiences or traumas that never got fully processed. Yes, it does take work. Yes, it is a gradual process. No, it's not always easy. But this is your life. And this is your power. So what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with the infinite power that you have? What are you going to do with this one beautiful sacred life you've been gifted? Are you going to choose to use that power and reclaim the life that you are living? So we address the navigational networks of the body-mind, including the unconscious memories, and we transmute and alchemize it into something completely brand new. We rewrite it. We reshape the energy of the information in the brain, body, and subconscious so that it navigates your identity and your life in a way that holds 100,000 quadrillion percent liberation from any past pains, challenges, or traumas that previously disrupted how you associate with yourself or how you navigate life through your inner realities. And all of this is done through your power here and now by looking inward, not backward, and by having full attunement with all aspects of yourself in the present moment. The tricky piece of this, and this is genuinely one of my favorite things to explore in the work that I do, is that the aspects of yourself from the past experiences are existing here and now inside of you. And the information from those past experiences, including the conscious and unconscious memories, exists here and now inside of your body, inside of your brain, body, and subconscious, or your body-mind. And so if you leave the present moment to go into details of the past, thinking that you're going to reconnect with those parts of self, The irony is that you're actually abandoning them because they're not in the past. They're in the present. They're right here. They're right now. But they might not know that. They might not feel that. And that's actually a big part of the problem. We have to help those aspects of self see the orientation 
of who and where they are right here, right now, in a way that then bridges realms. So they're not fragmented and separate from the rest of the self, so that they're not stuck reliving things from the past. But we look inward, not backward, to do that. And that's because the essence of self from the past is here now flowing in the regions of your body-mind, carrying the navigational patterns from the past experiences that's trying to help you navigate your present reality. And so when you understand the purpose of memories and that they're existing here in your body trying to help you navigate life, you come into a deeper presence with your power because you know that the parts of you you're trying to help are right here. They're not back there. And those aspects of self don't need you to rewrite the conscious memories. They need you to rewrite the unconscious navigational networks that they are connected with. And right now, those navigational networks only have information from the pain, the challenge, and the trauma from the past. And so, to help those aspects of self, you have the opportunity to rewrite that information, alchemize it into something completely brand new so that those parts of your own self can associate with their existence independently of those painful past experiences. Right now, they only know how to associate with their identity based on the data they're connected with. And if you go into the past and perpetuate the story simply by bringing it up, even if you are trying to genuinely rewrite it, you're still perpetuating the details of the past and the navigation from that energy in a way that separates those parts of self from the rest of you here and now. And so we accomplish the desired miracles of true healing by turning inward, and anchoring into our power in the present moment and attuning with all aspects of self here and now. And you can do that by working with those unconscious memories in the body and how memories are actually existing as navigational networks that exist to support you in navigating your present and potential experiences. The aspects of self from those past traumas does need you but it needs you in a brand new way. Those aspects of you are desperately needing you to alchemize the information that they're connected with so they can be free from it and not have to rewrite past stories ever again because the deeper reality has been transmuted into something brand new. And now those parts of you get to be free to know who they truly are, independent of those challenges those pains, those traumas. And that power is right here, right now, inside of you. Right here, right now, through the love that you have in connection to your inner self and the power of your own awareness and how that expanded awareness can actually rewrite the networks of your brain, the unconscious memories of your body, and the patterns of navigation held in your body, mind, or subconscious. And this is exactly the journeys that I lead my one-on-one clients through to create deep healing transformation from any traumas or transform any present struggle that might have started because of a painful or challenging past experience or, you know, hundreds and thousands of them over the many, many years, which I have intimate personal experience with. I lead my clients to work with the unconscious memories of their body, mind, and the navigational networks that are creating all the patterns of thoughts and feelings, choices, responses, etc. And to anchor into their personal power in the here and the now, having deep attunement with aspects of self, but not needing to go back into the past or back into details of memories that are accessed through the conscious mind in order to do that, but to do it in a more powerful way that anchors you into deeper love and deeper presence. And then use that power and that presence and that attunement with your self-essence and connection and awareness of the navigational networks of your body-mind and the activity of unconscious memories to alchemize that data so that it becomes something brand new. It becomes something unrecognizable. And you get to know 
bliss, joy, freedom, love, wholeness, empowered confidence, embodied worthiness, emotional fulfillment, and a greater expansion of everything you desire to experience. Yes, you want to be free from the stories of past experiences. Yes, you want to be free from any traumas or painful, challenging life experiences you've gone through. Yes, you want complete freedom from any disruptions of well-being that are happening now that might be a residual impact from those past challenges or traumas. But even more than that, you want to know all aspects of you for who you truly are. You want to know the bliss of your being. You want to know how good it feels to live in the luxurious mansion of your mind. You want to feel how good life can be when you enjoy living in your body, when you feel pleasure and satisfaction by experiencing life through the miracle of your body. You want to know what it feels like to be so profoundly whole inside of your being. That there's nothing missing. There's nothing else that you want or need because you have all of you and that transcends anything words can ever describe. Anything else that happens in life is a cherry on top because you're already whole, perfect, and complete and you fully feel that in your body, mind, and soul. You want to know the life that you can create for yourself if there's zero effect from any traumas on how you navigate your identity and your life experience here and now. You want to know the liberation of your identity and how you could associate with the who that you are when in complete freedom from all traumas, from all painful and challenging experiences that have this lingering effect on who you are now. You want so much more than to just heal the trauma. You want so much more than to just change the story of a past experience. You want to know the fullness of your soul self, the liberation of your brain, body, and subconscious, and how you could experience heaven on earth from the inside out through the infinite power and the infinite love that you truly are. And that is the exact transformation that I facilitate through my multi-month one-on-one mentorship journey. You can find all the information in the show notes, and I would absolutely love to serve and support you through this transformative journey. In the meantime, bring greater awareness to how you are addressing navigational networks in your brain, body, and subconscious, not just the conscious memories that you can access or memories focused on the past. And make sure that you're addressing your body mind, not your conscious mind only. And explore how you can connect with unconscious memories, which are carrying patterns of feeling and movement that are affecting your emotions, choices, and responses in everyday moments. And create space for the possibility of alchemizing inner energies so that they become something completely brand new and not just subtly shifted where the last sentence of the story of the chapter of that aspect of your life has a different ending and the rest of it's still the same, but alchemizing and transmuting it into something completely brand new, experiencing thoughts and feelings and emotions that you've never felt, having brand new ways of thinking and being and choosing and moving, brand new habits and choices you've never experienced before because the inner energy of navigation in your body-mind has been transmuted at its foundational root and alchemized into something completely brand new. And always anchor into the power that you have in the here and now, looking inward, not back, and attuning with all aspects of you right here, right now. And yes, that might include aspects of self from the past, but they are not stuck in memories of past experiences. They are associating with themselves in relation with those navigational networks, and they want you to help create liberation for them through your own expanded awareness and infinite love. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.
If you are committed to your best life and your truest self, I would be honored to serve and support you through my one-on-one mentorship journey. This journey is for you if you desire deeper connection with the fullness of life and the wholeness of your true self. If you are eager to reclaim sovereign authority in your mind, to rewrite life stories held in your body, and to reconnect with all aspects of your true soul self, to be completely free from any past pains, deeply and totally transforming all traumas without ever needing to look back at their details, to intimately understand all of the intricate miracles that make you, you, and to know thyself beyond anything you dreamed possible. This journey is for you if you crave greater self-worth and confidence to embody, enjoy, express, and expand into your highest, truest, fullest self. And for your body, mind, soul to feel like a luxurious mansion where you feel nourished, supported, and unconditionally loved from your own inner realities. Where your thoughts feel like a loving best friend, your emotions feel like heaven on earth, and your choices support your best life. And you get to fully feel the expansion of your personal identity as you reunify with the activated and awakened essence of your sacred soul. Where you get to intimately know all aspects of your true self within body, mind, and soul, nourish inner relationships to feel the infinite love of who you really are, Activate the power of your consciousness to lovingly rewire your brain, body, and subconscious to influence life from the inside out, to resolve disruptions of inner well-being, heal at the root cause, to create lasting inner change, and expand health in your mental, emotional, somatic, and energetic bodies, and experience revolutionary expansion through your thoughts, emotions, habits, behaviors, etc. And then to further cultivate feelings of heaven on earth from within. To repattern body, mind, and soul so you naturally navigate self and life through inner presence, power, peace, bliss, joy, love, abundance, freedom, wholeness, fulfillment, passion, pleasure, play, awe, wonder, magic, curiosity, courage, self leadership, inner trust, empowered confidence, and embodied worthiness. If you are committed to your inner expansion of body, mind, and soul, I would love to share sacred space with you through a free complimentary miracle meeting, a private one-on-one video call where we can clarify how this journey can best serve and support you at this time. Discover all of the amazing details below and you can personally connect with me through Instagram or email and we can take the next step together. I look forward to connecting with you and serving and supporting the next step of your most expansive life. Thank you for joining Kristen's Quantum Catalyzers for this incredible adventure, deep diving into body, mind, and soul through neuroscience, consciousness, and infinite love to be in service to your true self and your best life. If you enjoyed or gained anything from this adventure here, please feel free to share it with someone you know. Give us an amazing rating here on this beautiful platform and stay tuned for upcoming adventures. I look forward to serving and supporting your beautiful pathway of loving liberation.